What's up? So we're starting off our journey on a ship here, being attacked by other ships. This is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. We want me to take the wheel. Alright, we're gonna sink some of these ships here. Fire! Some hammer cannons, fire, boom. Got that ship. There's another ship. Okay, we got another ship right over here. We're gonna steer the ship to the right. We're gonna sink this ship right here. Oh, where's my cannons? There they are. Alright, here we go. Alright. Got that ship. Oh, I missed it. Oh no, I got it. Still need a, one more hit over there on that small one. Let's see if I can do it from all the way over here. Yep, alright. I think I'm about to hit the end, so. Hey, we're smoking. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Oh shoot, man, we're getting hit hard. Fire! Oh dang, oh dang. Alright, we got the big ship. We got the big ship. I think it's the, the one that wanted us to get, so. Boom. The magazine! It's going off! Douse the flames! Get in there, you mongrel! Is it dangerous? Edward? Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Well, why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Yeah, he didn't promise anything. Because he's about to be a pirate. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are. Gotta get to shore. Or burn alive. Hold ZR to swim faster. There we go. So 
But one of the things I love about this game is is the <laughs> graphics and the story. Even though the graphics like could be better like nowadays, but this the uh, the time when this game was made, these graphics were phenomenal. Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Do you really think that gun was going to shoot? Alright, let's go get this guy. So this guy that I was just talking to, he's an assassin. And we need to catch up with him. So the one other thing I really like about this game is that they made it so that you can practically interact with everything in your environment. Like if I wanted to climb this tree, you know, I can jump up it, I can grab onto a branch, you know, uh, well, not that tree, but okay. So I think I was going the wrong way. Let's figure this out. I go up this, I'm sure. So this tower right here is the first, it's the first, um, eagle eye tower. There's a lot of them in the game, but this is how, like, if I, if I open up the map, you'll see that there's a bunch of blue. There's like, you can see the shape of the, of the, you know, countryside, whatever the, the map. Um, but when I do this, when I activate this eagle eye here, I hit synchronize. So my character Edward Kenway gets has like this special ability to like now like see what's around him, like different chests and different objectives. And then I'm just going to jump off. Oops, I just synchronized again. Just double synchronize. Nothing wrong with that. And we're gonna dive off into this. And then we're gonna take off and try to find the assassin. So, oh, I think we just passed. Oh, there he is right there. But I heard the sound of... I heard the sound of treasure. You can kind of hear it. That tink twinkling sound. It's got to be like right underneath me, I think. There it is. Boom. If only it was that easy to make money in the real world. I mean, I guess it is. But that would be called like robbing or looting. But you don't really just see like chests of gold and rubies and stuff laying around. 
I'm not gonna get every single chest because um, it might be something I do as a side we thing. We could work together on this. All right, so I'm gonna go up here. And then I'm going to synchronize on this tower. I know at one point I'm going to have to chase this guy and I'm going to, and I can't get too far away from him or I lose the objective. When, one of the things that's the most difficult in this game is chasing other characters because you have to stay a certain distance away. Oh, dang. Oh, snap. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, get down there. No. No, no, no. This is what I'm talking about. All right, here we are. Boom. All right. Boom, boom, boom. And you're dead. Let's take a look at what you ate for lunch. I opened up his stomach, get it? Ew, gross. That's gross. By the way, there's a lot of violence in this game, so if you're a little queasy, probably shouldn't watch. Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume the infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Suma su humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. And so it begins. And so basically, Edward Kenway here just killed an assassin, and he saw this letter that was in the assassin's jacket. What was that? Oh my goodness, eagle. This eagle eye, really quick. Wait. Yeah. Basically, he got this letter saying that. He, this assassin was hired. That school will do me just fine. But the the guy said specifically that he didn't know what he looked like. So now, Edward, being the pirate he is, is like, okay, this is a great way to make some money. I can kill somebody, so I'm just gonna be the assassin. Little does Edward know that his life is about to be flipped upside down. The Commodore's gone ahead to Kingston, oh. where to commandeer this lover's ship and fall out. So, sorry, uh, Kingston? No, no, our destination is Havana. I just want the merchants. Quiet, you bleeding pirate! You'll hang for the mess you made out there! Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I had merely anchored to water and resupply. <laughs> Nothing. Stop them! Bro, you're so dead. You're so dead. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Okay, so I'm gonna whistle. I'll pay you. Anything you like. This guy's gonna come over, and then I'm just gonna <laughs> snatch him. <laughs> Boom. 
Oh God. Oh. Okay, so when you stalk zones, dense vegetation can be used as stalking zones. They allow you to hide and move undetected, using them to approach targets stealthily. Lucky for us, there's plenty of vegetation right here. Not so lucky for this young man. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Dang, bro, this guy got killed so bad. I'll Look pay at him. You. Anything you like. Kind of a. <laughs> All right. Look how he landed there. Oh God. I'm gonna whistle. Get this guy to come over here. He's like, "What? I thought we killed this guy." Oh, you did. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Look at the way this guy is laying on the ground. This is just the beginning of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, funny stuff that you'll see. I'll pay you. Anything Telling you, like. you right now, you're gonna see a lot of funny stuff. It's like the, uh, oddly enough, that's actually a huge reason why I love this game. Oh god! Oh god! So I got this guy here. I gotta kill him. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Hmm. Come on over, buddy. Oh. That's going to be the end of video number one, then. We'll see what happens. Have a great rest of your day. Ah. <sighs>